Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you the third method to download CP2K, which is to download the source code and compile it yourself. And uh, today I would like to use Intel compiler and Intel MKL to do the compilation, which I think offers better efficiency than GNU compilers. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started. To download the source code, you can go to the download page in the official website, and then it will redirect you to the GitHub page where you can find the recent release. And this .tar.bz2 is basically the source code that you want to download. And then uh, I have already downloaded that here. And then you need to decompress that into a normal folder. This is basically the source code. What you need to do before everything is to go to the arc folder. And you see there are many configuration files that you can use. Just find the one that suits your system the best. For example, if you want to use GNU compiler, probably uh, something like this file here. But we will use Intel compiler, so we will basically use one of those labeled with Intel. The best starting point would be this minimum configuration. yeah. And today I will only show you POPT compilation. I will not show you PSMP. That is more advanced. If any of you want me to show that, um, please leave a comment below and I will make another video about that. Just start from this architecture file. And it's a good practice to just copy and paste a new one, uh, rename it to be, uh, let's say, changed, for example, yeah, so that you don't modify the original one. Just open this and you will find a lot of arguments everywhere. Basically, this is ready to be used. What I will do here is that I will add some CPU specific optimization to make the efficiency even better. First, O2 optimization is not enough. I will increase it to O3. And then you need to find the correct flag for your CPU. For example, I use Intel Core 7 8th generation. So you can find in this page here, 8th generation, that is Skylake architecture, not Skylake uh, AVX 5.2, but just Skylake. Yeah? And then you can scroll up. For Skylake, you can use in this flag here. Yeah? I will also paste this link in the description in this video, so you can also go there and check what is the compiler option for your CPU. And then uh, we could add here minus X. You, know, you need to have a prefix minus X before. And uh, basically that's it. And we are ready to compile it. So for the compilation, we need to copy the file name without the POPT in the end. And then we go to the terminal and go to the CB2K folder. Because I want to use an uh, Intel compiler, we need to uh, source the Intel compiler first, if you haven't done that. To check whether you have already sourced that, you can uh, write i4 minus v, and it gives the Intel Fortran compiler version. It means that it's successfully loaded. Now we can make minus j, for example, we want to use six jobs in parallel compilation, and arc equals just copy and paste the file name here, and then specify the version equals popt, which is the MPI version. I will just put this command uh, properly here. Okay, yeah, and then we start the compilation. And you see that uh, this minus O3 and minus X core AVX2, those optimization flags are successfully passed to MPI i4. That's good. Yeah. This will take a while and we just wait. Okay, so now it is finished. We could show the files in the directory and then you see there is this uh, directory called exe and then we list the files inside. Uh, okay, so this is a folder and then uh, okay, and then you see that here this is the POPT executable. So now we would like to go to our benchmark here. And um, if you haven't watched my last video, actually this is a single point DFT calculation for silicon crystal. And this is the basis set, uh, so the potential file. And this is the input file, which I will not go to detail now, but basically this is a DFT single step calculation of silicon crystal. 
I will go to more detail in the next videos about this. Now I just want to do a quick benchmarking. Okay, so the command that we use is this, because this is MPI parallel computation, we can use MPI run and then minus MP, the number of CPU cores that you want to use, and everything else is the same. So we just copy the command here. Uh, one thing is that we need the full path to this cp2k.popt that is basically here. We just copy paste and then exe and Linux. So this should be it. But we also want to do some benchmarking. So we uh, add a time command before such that it can report the time that is used on this command. It uses 3.6 seconds for statistics. We can uh, run the command again. It's around 3.5 seconds now. Yeah. This is the real time that is passed, and the user time is the total uh, CPU time that is basically, in this case, six times the real time because it is run in parallel in six cores. It's more or less uh, six times the real time, but of course there are some overhead time that results in some discrepancy. Yeah. So you see that here, we compiled the POPT version, but you see that it is actually not as efficient as the easily downloaded uh, pre-compiled uh, executable of this SSMP version. The reason is that if we go back to the architecture file, that we use the minimal configuration of Intel compiler. Yeah? But actually you can find this architecture file where you specify some, some other libraries that will also make it more efficient. So I will not go to details about how to tune and how to try an error to find the best solution for your system. But just here I want to show you that this is in principle what can be done. And then you could uh, basically go to uh, some other architecture files and then try that and see whether you can increase the efficiency here or not. But definitely there is a, an increase in efficiency compared to the serial version. In this compilation of source code, you can also compile the fourth version, which is the combination between MPI and OpenMP, which I will not do here. And you can do the benchmark yourself. Yeah. Okay. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have already chosen the best solution of CP2K to download for your specific need. If you learned something from my video, I appreciate your like or subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time.